Hi, this is Shaquita with Sweet Rubies. Thank you for watching today. Today I'm going to show you how I make my no-bake strawberry crunch crumble that I use for my strawberry crunch cakes. To start off, you'll need um, a bowl with some cookie crumbles in it, one stick of melted butter, as well as one box of any strawberry gelatin. As a disclaimer, I will throw out there that we are quarantined because of the coronavirus, so I didn't have the golden Oreos or vanilla sandwich cookies that I normally use, but I use these crushed vanilla wafers, and this is a whole box, and they work fine. So you take the jello and you pour about half of the mixture over the crumbles. You'll make sure to really mix that in so that it's incorporated throughout the cookie crumbles and that it hasn't settled at the bottom. Okay, then you'll take about half of the melted butter and you'll pour that over the cookie mixture. This butter is actually what helps the jello to adhere to the cookie. You'll make sure to mix that in very well. Some people can stop here depending upon how dark or how much strawberry flavor they want. Okay, once you've mixed it, you just gauge, you can taste it, or it smells so good, you're gonna wanna taste it. And this is what it looks like, but I decided that, hey, I wanna add just a little bit more strawberry to get a darker color and more of a strawberry flavor, so I add a little more jello. I then mix that in. You'll then want to add the rest of your butter. Once you add the butter, you can go ahead and mix that in. And that is the last step as far as um, using the ingredients. Next, you will take a full lined or parchment paper lined um, pan or tray. And you will make sure that you are able to get a tray that's big enough for you to lay all of your crumbles out flat. So here's my tray. So I'm just going to dump the entire bowl on the foil. And then I'll spread it out evenly so it's a thin layer. Because you're spreading it out evenly and thinly, it helps it to dry quicker. Because this recipe does not use any flour, um, you don't have to bake it at all. You can actually use this to cover strawberries. You can use it um, to cover cake pops on your strawberry crunch cupcakes. It's very good and I've been using it for a while and it's always a hit. Okay, once you spread it out, leave it there for 20 to 30 minutes and it'll dry. You can tell that it's dried after the 20 to 30 minutes because you'll be able to pick it up and it'll crumble. So what I did, I just take the side of the foil, which is why I recommend foil or parchment paper, and then I just dump it into my bowl. Because it's already dried, it's not gonna clump together or stick or cause any issues and it just slides right off. As you can see, it's completely done. If these crumbles are too big for you and you like yours more finely chopped, you are able to chop yours as fine as you want, but I'm making this for the family and they like the bigger bits of cookie. And that's it, you are done. You can make multiple batches by just doubling the recipe.
If you have any questions for me, please comment below. And also, go ahead and watch and like and subscribe to my strawberry crunch cake video. If you do not plan on using all of your crumbles or you have some left, just take a Ziploc bag, as you can see I'm doing, and you just pour them in the bag. You try to get some of the air out the bag. Once you seal it, they will last on your countertop for up to a week. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.